6th August 1945, the most dreadful day for the Japanese people, the day which separated most of the children from their parents, the day which separated millions and millions of husbands and wives, the day which separated loads of brothers and sisters, the day which converted many children into orphans, the day which completely destroyed the entire city of Hiroshima. Yes, it's the day on which the United States dropped two nuclear weapons over the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A very warm good morning to respected principal, vice principal, teachers, not teaching staffs and my dear friends. This is DVA DTSN Devadatan M of class 11B. Today, I am here to present the wonderful program connected to Hiroshima Day. Well, I would like to ask you one thing. Do any one of you have any wishes that are not fulfilled yet? If so, I can help you. That doesn't mean that I will fulfill your wish, but I will suggest you a hint. And this hint will surely help you to fulfill your wish. The hint is, join your hands, close your eyes, and pray to Lord Almighty. Let's invite Nandana Ajit of class 11B for prayer. Kulerum prabhadatin daruni vekkuvelilum Aduvilum akila chara charangilkum Chaitanyarupanayekum Krapanithe kaitoludhidam nuryangalindum Chiridu givinayamda thamarapuvam Tapasumam uruvidam maruvipadam Dinacharangalkum sakshiyai nilkum Dinadayaduvadim to vision Tanmada tutilil sneha bridam nalkinam be Taikandalokanathan Muthanum Krishnanum Christum Melavum Ilarkumundaner and Piladevum Pularum Prabhadat Aruni Makulilum Aduvilum Makila Charangalkum Chai the Nerupanayakum Kripani de Kaitaru de Dutu Yankalindum. We all know that Hiroshima Day is celebrated on 6th August. It's the day in 1945 when an atomic bomb was dropped in the city of Hiroshima. But still, most of you might be wondering how much people might have lost their lives. Why this much importance is attached to Hiroshima Day? Isn't it? To clear all your doubts, let's invite Arya and Arya of class 11A for a wonderful speech on Hiroshima Day. Rome was not built in one day. But remember, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed in one day. Today, I'm gonna talk about Hiroshima Day. 76 years ago, the then known president of USA, Harry Astruman, took a very important decision. He decided to use nuclear weapon against Japan, with whom they were the wars. A decision which annihilated thousands of people in the name of saving thousands of people from the unending war. Hiroshima Day commemorates on 6 August 1945 when an atomic bomb was dropped on two of the Japanese city, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. These two events set as an example for the future generation of the devastating effects of nuclear weapons. There was a high increase in death toll, severe burns were caused, and even there was not appropriate medical facilities for Japan at that time. For long after the war, those infants who were born in the city were paralyzed, were under the cause of cancer, they were having leukemia diseases. But now, Japan is trying to able to recover from that situation. I would like to say you one thing. See, when a man is born to the earth, we are not teaching them what about humanity. We are crea the man himself is creating humanity in himself. If those peoples of America had humanity in them at that time, they won't do this. The cruel effects which were seen in Japan now. 
Hiroshima Day is now a focus of anti-nuclear discussions and demonstrations. Japan is trying to recover from its devastating situation which it had. And now, if, uh, after their long hard work of the people and dedication and determination towards their work, they are now being noticed as the world's third largest economy. See, humanity is one thing which can which can't be taught to a somewhat which can't be taught to a person. Humanity is a thing we can create by ourselves. And the thing I want to conclude by the speech is that being human is given. Humanity is our choice. We can't be human. Thank you. Wow, well, it was really amazing. Now it's the time for a visual description on the heart bombing incident that completely destroyed the minds of the people of Hiroshima. For that, let's invite Jonas of class 11A and Gladstone and Romy of class 11B. Hiroshima Day is observed on August 6 every year. It aims to promote peace politics against the world. This day is a reminder of the bombing attack in Hiroshima by the United States during World War II. On this day, first time use of nuclear weapon was seen and just after three days of Hiroshima, another nuclear weapon was dropped in Nagasaki. On August 6, 1945, at 8.15 in the morning, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The atomic bomb, code named Little Boy, was the first nuclear weapon dropped on humans. It was an attack during World War II and there was no warning given. Caused by a B-29 warplane, the bomb was dropped from about 31,000 feet and fell for 43 seconds. It exploded about 19,000 feet off the ground. Inside the bomb, a controller explosion created high explosive propelled a subcritical mass of uranium-235. A mushroom cloud about 16,000 feet tall was formed and radiation into the air. The explosion resulted in a flash of blinding light followed by intense heat killing an estimated 18,000 people instantly and destroying nearly every building within one mile of the epicenter. The fire cost lasted for days. Over 50% of people that were killed died of burns. Many of those that weren't killed by the flash burn, blast or fire died on radiation poisoning. Others were trapped in rubble and thousands were injured the health effects including cancer and birth defects felt for generations. Three days later, another atomic bomb made with plutonium was dropped on Nagasaki, killing at least 74,000 people. A nuclear weapon has not been used on a civilian target since. It has been 76 years since the death of precious lives which is said to be thousands in numbers by a single atomic bomb. At that time, the city of Hiroshima, which was abandoned immediately, has made a powerful recovery as a world renowned peace city through the tireless efforts of its predecessors. Wow, 
Now I hope that you all might get a clear picture on what really happened in Hiroshima on 6th August, isn't it? Okay. Now, are you feeling bored after listening to this lengthy program? Well, I know that you all might be interested in knowing what happens next. Okay, so to entertain you with a melodious song about Hiroshima Day, let's invite Anu Maria Thomas of Class 9B. Venda, ini venda, ini venda, venda Hiroshima. Nagasakigal, venda, venda, shandi gaya garna. Shandi gaya garna. Venda, ini venda, ini venda, venda Hiroshima. Anu yudhatil vijay kudilla adinandithil jeevithavum vijayichavaro tochavaro evirangalichagabandangal Anu yudhatil vijay kudilla adinandithil jeevithavum vijayichavaro tochavaro evirangalichagabandangal Venda ini venda ini venda venda Hiroshima Nagasakigal venda venda Shandi gaya garna, Shandi gaya garna. Wow, I know. It was just melodious one. I can't express how much beautiful it was. Now, have you ever seen a bomb explosion in front of your eyes? Ban Hajazume was 14 years old and lived in Japan when the nuclear bomb was dropped in Hiroshima. Now, open your eyes and watch her experiences while witnessing the book. Nowadays, I am busy with my studies. I have no time to enjoy the beauty of the nature. Since a long time, I am not at all reading a book. Today, I must read a book. I am going to library. Hmm. Hmm. Which book I will choose? A Diary of a Little Girl. I surely read this book. When I was young, I lived in a town of Saka near Hiroshima with my mother, father, brothers and sisters. Our house was right by the ocean and I enjoyed watching the sunset, picking flowers and exploring the village. Sometimes I would climb on the top of the tree so that I could see the beautiful ocean glittering in the sunshine. One day morning, I remember my mom was at home and I was getting ready to go for work at Ministry of Communication in Hiroshima. Because many young men were away fighting in the war, they want other people to do all the jobs. So, children like me were made to leave school and go to work instead. I was standing by a window on the upside floor when I saw a powerful flash. I thought the sun had fallen down in front of my eyes. In a split second, I saw rainbow-colored rays everywhere and that was the moment the bomb exploded. I must have lost my consciousness because when I woke up, I wasn't by the window and I realized that I hurt my head. I got up and started heading outside. A woman helped me walk to the hospital. Our city was completely destroyed and on the way, I noticed how there were no buildings, no cats or dogs, even birds or butterflies. 
there were just people wandering around. Next day, when I woke up, I really missed my mom. So, I headed across town. But fires were still burning all around. So, I had to be careful. Close to my home, I saw three people approaching me. It was my mother, my oldest sister and my aunt. Sadly, I lost my brother in the blast. It all seemed to me like a dream. Because of the radiations, I had suffered from many health problems like headaches and tirelessness. Special congrats to Charlene and Prapti to present this kit in a realistic way. I hope that you all might understand the feelings the young girls suffered while witnessing the Hiroshima bomb blast. Now, most of you might be wondering, why do we celebrate Hiroshima Day, isn't it? To resolve all your queries, I am welcoming Aman Mohammad Harish of Class 9B. Hiroshima Day is observed on August 6th every year. It aims to promote peace politics against war. This day remains as about the bombing attack on Hiroshima by US during the World War II. Remains of the Hiroshima Prefectural Industry Promotion Building known as the Atomic Bomb. Hiroshima Day of 2021 marks the 76th anniversary of the bomb killing. Hiroshima Day is observed to promote peace politics against war. The lesson is that those who start war cannot control how they will unfold. Those who create weapons cannot foresee how they will be used. Those who undertake what appear to be the rational risk may end up being destroyed by them. Thank you. Have a great day. Wow, woman. It was really amazing. Now our program comes to an end. And I am sure that you all might get a detailed picture about Hiroshima Day after watching the whole program. Isn't it? Okay. Let's see each other with another amazing program. Till then, I am signing off. Bye. Spread love, spread smile and be kind. And now I am inviting Sri Nana of class 11B for delivering the word of thanks. Very good morning to all. It's an immense pleasure for me to deliver the vote of thanks for this event to all dignitaries here. I would like to thank our beloved principal, vice principal, teachers, non-teaching staffs and last but not the least my dear friends who made this event a grand success. Once again I thank one and all present here. Thank you. <laughs>